Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is OLEDB command transformation? Where would you use it? And what are the disadvantages or advantages of using the OLEDB command transformation? So let's go to SSDT or bits, whatever we have according to the version installed on our machine. Uh, bring the data flow task as the transformations are available in the data flow task. Once we have the data flow task, we have to read the data from some source. I'm going to read the data for this demo from a SQL Server table. I will be using OLEDB source to read the data from a SQL Server table. And then I will be reading the data from a customer table. Let's hit on columns and then come back, view the data. So we have five records uh, and uh, we have first name, last name, address, phone number and region code uh, from the customer table. The next step is uh, using the OLEDB command transformation. OLEDB command transformation is the transformation that we can use to delete, update, insert the records in SQL Server table or any other database. Um, the, the thing is, it will be running a SQL statement each for each of the record. So let's say we have five records coming from the source and we want to insert them uh, here in the another SQL Server table by using only DB command transformation. What will happen? It will run five times insert statement. If we are running for update, it is gonna run update for each of the record. So if we are deleting it, it will do in the same thing. It will be running the delete statement for each of the record. So that make this OLEDB command transformation pretty slow as it has to run for each of the record. And uh, it will be taken one record at a time. That's, that, that's the case. If it will take all the record at one time and delete it or insert it or update it, it will be a different scenario. But it will be running a SQL statement each time for that row. That's a major disadvantage using this one, but there are some advantages um, as we are in the data flow and we do not have, have a way to update the records uh, in a set based queries. So OLEDB command transformation is our last options here uh, that we can use if there is a small number of uh, updates, uh, maybe 100 to 100 records we have to update or uh, we have to delete maybe 50 or 60 records. So we have this uh, transformation at least uh, that we can use uh, to perform the task. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tra trans uh, show you a demo of uh, this transformation real quick uh, and then also tells you at the end uh, what other options we have uh, that that we can use instead of using OLEDB command transformation. So let's do this one for insert for now. So here what I have, I have a table uh, customer underscore AS that has the same number of columns what we have here for a customer. So I'm going to use this one to insert the data into uh, customer underscore Asia table, AS table or Asia. Um, so here, how we write our statements. So we have SQL statement here, and that's where we write our statements. So we write insert into and table name, and then we write values. And then for each of the column, we have to provide question mark, and then we will be mapping that one. So I have six columns. I have to provide six question marks. So now we have one, two, three, Four, five, six. Yeah, that's correct too. So we have six of them. Next part is mapping those columns from input to the uh, our destination. Let's go back and see what uh, what is the the error. So if we if we see that I N S E R T insert not insert. So that's what the difference in the keyword uh, I was using it. So go to the columns now, and now I have the columns available. As you can see that uh, these columns uh, or the question marks uh, converted to parameter 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. So you can um, you know, map them now. That That's kind of confusing with the question marks uh, when it comes with the parameter 1 and 2 and 3. And uh, you know, it doesn't come with the name. So that creates some time. If you have a lot of columns, uh, it kind of gets complicated and uh, keep up with the right mapping. Now we map all those uh, uh, columns from input to the destination and uh, hit OK. Let's run our SSIS package and see what is happening. It is in reading five record and inserting it to the SQL Server table by using OLEDB command transformation 
and let's go to the table and see the data so five records are inserted into the sql server table by using only db command transformation this is not a, a best way to do it as you have only db uh, destination and that works on the um, we have we can define a, a batch of uh, rows and uh, that uh, th this uh, uh, OLED DB command transformation can be placed by OLED DB destination and that works better so don't use uh, the OLED DB command transformation for insert uh, you know uh, in, instead of that use uh, the OLED DB uh, destination so next part is uh, if we need to update some records uh, from source to the destination we can also use this one in this case let's update uh, this column so we can see that update this set uh, last name is equal to null for all of the records in this table and now in this table what we have uh, the last name is null and we are going to read the record from the uh, customer table and update into the uh, customer underscore as let's go back to the same already be command transformation and here instead of insert we will be writing update and we will be writing now set uh, l name is equal to question mark and then uh, where our we can map on id that's how we can use it we can, where our id is equal to question mark so we are using two columns uh, one uh, for the where we need to update so last name that's what we need to update and we will be mapping the value for that one and second one uh, we have where clause so we will be matching an id any record that matches with the id that's where we will update that record uh, hit ok go to column mappings and if you see that we can remove this one you can uh, click on the line and delete it and then delete it id should be mapped to the uh, we have first last name is our first uh, parameter and then ID is our the second one so here so we are good press ok now start the package and then we will go back to the our table and see if the update happened correctly close the package or stop the package let's go to the table remember last time when we ran the statement the last name was uh, null now it should not be null it should be updated so we can see that the last name is updated so this is the way you can also go ahead and delete the records the same way you did update a statement here the same way we can write delete from table where and then we put the condition and question mark um, so it will map the uh, input column to the um, you know in the where clause with the with the column uh, let's say id or any other column you're using so that's how you can do it but that 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 uh, deleting or updating this this get really slow if you have thousands of record and my recommendations are if you have this kind of situation from OLEDB command uh, OLEDB source whatever or even a flat file source or any sources read those records create some staging table put the tab records in that table by using OLEDB destination and then come outside of data flow and use the execute sql task and you will be writing a T-SQL query uh, or PL-SQL query wherever your data is there. and then uh, those uh, T-SQL or PL-SQL queries will be set based queries uh, and they will be deleting your the records or updating the records in batches instead of uh, uh, deleting or updating one record at a time so th these are uh, the some advantages and disadvantages so we have uh, at least we have the transformation that we can use inside the data flow to update the lead record but um, on the other hand uh, that's pretty slow and when it comes to a lot of records uh, you don't want to use that one instead of that you want to put uh, in some staging table and use the merge statement uh, or uh, you know use the uh, normal t sql or pl sql code uh, to um, uh, initiate the set based operation instead of a row by row operation thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video